Welcome back guys to another video. Today's video is we have the new Camo Light Deluxe Gadget Safe from Fox. Um, I asked Tim from Tim's Tackle, my local um, tackle shop, to order it in for me for when it gets released. And we have it, I picked it up this morning. So let's have a look. Ah, there we go, there she is. Quite excited actually because it can hold my Fox Halo 96K or it can hold two 48Ks. Um, but this is what I keep in my bag. The shed is a bit of a mess at the moment. But I normally keep that in my fishing bag. Obviously that's where it is. But you can see the box is getting a bit bloody battered. And I'll keep all my lights in here and um, bivy light, headlight, keep you you can just see it through the lid there, leads. But all that will fit into here, which is gonna save me a bit of space actually in my bag. So let's have a look. Right, this is the box. So obviously put your leads, your batteries, got a handle. I'll show you all those bits in a minute. But you can put your pad on it, it'd be ideal. Like I say, I can put my Fox Halo in it, which is exciting. Right. There are the dim um, dimensions. There you go, moulded EVA lid to place your tablets, phones, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Main bag designed to store two Fox 48Ks or 198. you got um, two USBs, one access port, inner dividers, tablet pocket. There we go. It was... 44.99 i'll leave a link in the description as i do but if you ask your local tackle shop they might be able to order it in for you like tim did for me so let's have a look right. that's maybe not on the end it I really have been looking forward to this. It's a bit sad, I know, but there we go. Overall look round. There's your handle. That's your outer USBs. And that's your quick, that sort of quick port for headphones or whatever. Let's have a look. So this bit here, where you can uh, put your pad, but you could also put your, I don't know, put your phones on here, make some rigs on here, whatever you sort of want to do. Hopefully it will sit in there like that. Let me grab it. I've got the iPad Pro. Oh, hold on, let's have a look. Let's take it, open it up. Right, don't quite fit. Right, it sort of fits. I wouldn't, I mean, it might be all right. It's not sort of perfect. Was a bit hesitant whether the iPad Pro would actually fit. Sort of does, I mean, it is just resting on the back there as you can. See, I mean, if I didn't have the case on it, it would probably sit down a little bit more. Can't say I'm... I am a little bit disappointed as such, because obviously that would have been real ideal. I mean, it does just about work. Don't think it would go anywhere, so to speak. I mean, if I, like I say, if I didn't have the case, I think it would fit better. But I just imagine it's a bit more made for, like, you know, 10 point. I don't know what they are now, 10.9 is it? But it's doing the job at the moment. I mean, that's all I can ask for. But it's not the end because I did actually buy it again for the Halo mainly. But hey -o, just one of those things. Probably ideal for a, an iPad mini or something. I was gonna put my phone on there to show you, but I'm recording obviously. <laughs> Bloody idiot. 
Right, so there we go. Let's have a closer look. Zips feel quite nice and sort of heavy duty. Nice. To be honest, I think I'll cut them out, the labels there, because that's going to get annoying. Yeah, cut those out. It is very soft. It's a bit like peach skin. So let's have a look at this bottom bit first, and then I'll adjust the camera and you can obviously see at the top. So you've got a USB extension. Got the USB here that connects through to the two USBs on the side here. So let's just have a look. So obviously when you're charging your phone, your iPad or whatever it is, you haven't got to have them all linked up inside. Oh, I see. Okay. No. Right. This one is actually the other port. So it's not a spare one. So this one's in there. So they both actually just pull out if you really want them to. But I don't know why you would. So let me see if I can show you how to pop them back in. Let's undo this one. So I can actually... So they're removable, so that's quite good. So if, for example, one of these break, I'm guessing you could probably just replace it, maybe? Right, which way around should we put them? I think I'm going to go with the white outwards. So you just push it in. Push it as much as you can. And then there's your port. Let me just see if that's a good way round of doing it or whether it's worth swapping it round. No, that's all right. All I probably would say is that you might want to... It doesn't line up sort of perfectly because you've got the stitch sort of in the way. So it might be worth holding on to the other side. Oh, no, you can can just push it in so that's all right obviously the bottom one needs to go in again i'll do it with the white facing outwards really easy to do so he says oh well. there we go just didn't quite have it lined up properly it will feel snug but just make sure you push it in more all right, got a bit of a tag end there. I'll cut that off in a minute. That's just a bit of a loose sort of thread. So you've got the dividers here, so you can have it how you want it. Let's get you out, come on. So we've got two dividers and a long divider here. But like I say, it's a peach skin sort of feel right this pocket up here is meant to be for your ipad my ipad is definitely not going to fit in there <laughs> don't even think it oh it only just fit inside if really need to be but with a bit of a, a push but yeah you can put your ipad in there if you've got one you've got a zip section which allows you then into the the netted pockets. I did actually think that the netted pockets, you could access them from this seam here, but no, you've got to unzip it. That's not a problem. So I could put my leads in there, like GoPro batteries or I don't know, whatever you want. Spare batteries for your alarms. Doesn't really matter at all. But I'm going to just cut these labels off because they're bloody annoying let me set it up to how i'm going to have it and i'll show you do just sort of rip off but obviously just be careful because you don't want to bugger up the threading 96k up right do i have it like that and have this space free no i don't think i do 
I think I will have it. No idea how I'm going to have it. Because <laughs> obviously I want these plugged in ideally. How I'm going to have it yet. Ideally, I want to be able to use these uh, USB sockets so I can just plug stuff in from the outside. But I'm not 100%. The <sighs> best way would be to have it like that. But obviously, can't access the ladder USB ports. Because it'll start... Well, it might, but it'll start bending the connections which ideally i don't really want to do what i will do i will have a look for replacement um connectors extenders and i'll leave a comment in the description so that if you do need a spare one for any reason you can get them but about a meter long i'd say so let's have a look Plug one in, two in. Let's tuck these down the side here. Yeah, I'm just a bit apprehensive that I quite like it like that, but it's not going to zip up. You see the difference? I'd have to pull it over, which in turn gonna oh you can't see that bit I have to fold it over but in turn it's gonna squash the connections which I'm a little bit GBS about so obviously I don't want to ruin them already well if I could have them like that I could have that I could have that like that and then my head torch bivy light can go there but oh gosh I don't know what to do hey see I can't have it like that because it only leaves me this bit of space and I might get my bivy light but I'm not going to get my ridge monkey light in there because then all the cables are taken up this end it could be that we might have to see look it's already split It's already bloody split. Not too happy about that. I don't remember seeing it like that. So it must have been me. So that must have been when I was trying to zip it up and it was pushing it downwards like that. Even still, this one's not... Oh, it's just starting to do it. Can you see that? It's just that white stress mark there. Just starting to split. Yeah, look. Can you see? It's just gone now, look. It's just gone. I'm bending it. See? Damaging my own stuff to show you guys. Yeah. Not too happy about that, obviously. But it is my own fault. So. It might be. That for storage. For storage purposes. We'll have it like that. And have my. Bivy light. My ridge monkey. And then when we need it. We'll just. Undo that compartment. Because I'll have my bivy light up anyway. And then we can plug it in like that. Bloody annoyed about that. So, if you do get yourself it, don't bend the USBs. Um, I have got some two-part sort of... I have got some glue, two-part glue, so I might just see if I can stick that back and just reinforce it or whatever. But on the plus side now, if I plug it in, that bit might be all right. It might fold like that. <laughs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Right. So what have I got in here? So. Bivy light. Bridge monkey. I'm not sure which one it was now. I can't remember. Got your magnetic plate to 
hold it up, sit down the side there. So yeah, I could have it plugged in like this actually, and just have it all snuck, snug down the side here. Ridge monkey light. The problem is as well, the rig monkey light is, I love it, but because it's in this case and I have stuff on top of it, on occasions I've come back, or not come back, gone fishing, and it's uh, been left on, literally like that. So, but that, you can tuck down there. Wait, that. So actually, I might not need the dividers. I don't mind. That sort of um, frame to hold it up on the bank stick or whatever. But to be fair, I don't use that. I have no need for it because I obviously stuck it, stick it inside the bivvy. I mean, you could if you want. You could put like your word search. Hold on, I keep forgetting the camera angle. You could put your word search book in there, a pen, something like that, maybe if you really wanted to. Right, so I've got micro. I've got my C connection iPhone lead and I've got a couple more micros and another iPhone lead just in case these are my spare leads anyway so oh and the remote for the bivvy light so bivvy remote can go in the end like that so Bivy remote. I can put all my iPhone leads in at one. So it doesn't matter which one I pull out. Just roll them up. Slide them in. There we go. And then got my USB C for my iPad. Go in the other end one. Then we've got some, obviously, like I say, the micro. Micros, so they will probably go with my iPad one. That's obviously for like charging the bivy light, headlight. If I need to charge both at the same time. So they can all go in there. Remote, iPhone leads. USB-C and um, the micros. Zip that up. Like I say, I might put a word search book or something in there just in case I want to occupy myself. I go, oh God, yeah, I forgot about that. So, just see what I can do about these. I might have just put some electrical tape around them. Make sure they still work. So I think this is how I'm gonna have it. doesn't look the greatest I was hoping to set it up a little bit nicer to be fair with the dividers but obviously I can't really the dividers are too high put the lead over the top now look at that so let's actually just make sure that these still work that's a bit naff but it's, like I say it's my own fault no one else's so how long these will last I do not know but just keep that in mind. Don't bend the ends too much. I mean, I did sort of know that anyway. But hey ho. Hey ho. I mean, I don't even need them really, to be fair. I could just uh, plug it straight in. But obviously, if you've got it all zipped up. Um, how are we going to do this then? How are we going to try? Okay, let's have a look. So, oh yes, I forgot, sorry. This one here could plug it in the USB, pop it through the hole, if really need be. There's the hole, you feed it through. There you go. So, forgot about that a little bit. So let's have a look actually see if these chargers still work.
question is, not by the looks of it. It's either that or... Right, let's charge it now through there, but not through the connection. Right, bottom one's working. Oh, and the top one's working, so maybe it's just having a funny five minutes there. But luckily it's all working now, so that's all right then. I've got some heat shrink, but I'm not going to get it over the end. And even if I do, it's going to be too of a bigger size to heat down too much. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the dividers, obviously. I won't need them. But that's how I'm just going to leave it set up. Not the greatest, but it's all plugged in, ready to go, which is nice. Got me leads. You can have two of the 40Ks in here. So Bibby lights down the side, headlight won't start turning on once it's um, sipped up. It's got a, quite a nice ridge for it. Like I say, if you want to make a couple of rigs or whatever, but there you go. That is the Fox Camo Light Deluxe Gadget Safe. Just a quick update. Nothing that a bit of gaffer tape can't fix. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, it would just sort of stop it from bending. Luckily, it sort of doesn't bend so much in some ways now. But it would still fit in there. So, yeah, I've done both. I mean, best I can do. That's it. We're done. Seems like a decent bit of kit. Like I say, a little bit annoyed about the USBs, but I'd say that's my fault. So, got to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I quite like it. It's handy. It saves me a little bit of space. I ain't got the risk of uh, my headlight turning on and using up all the battery and then getting to the night time off fishing and realising it's dead. So, but yeah, give it a thumbs up if you can subscribe. Drop a comment of what you think about it and if you want to get one or you've got one even and if your USB cables have done the same. Um, yeah, like I say, give it a like and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.